Hello and welcome to our lightning talk. My name is Cindy Tian, and today I'm going to be presenting with Greta Hun from University of Illinois on links all the way down emblematica as a LOD case study. The co-authors of this work also include Tim Cole and M. J. Han from University of Illinois. As we know, linked open data infrastructure relies on well-designed ontologies, frameworks, and identifier best practices. But the finest infrastructure won't work if we cannot reconcile our metadata to link to appropriate linked open data authorities, and if we cannot connect these authorities one to another in ways that improve any user services. In this case study, we used Emblematica Online, a digital library portal which provides access to more than 1,400 digitized emblem books from seven international rare emblem collections to examine current reconciliation practices and obstacles and illustrate ways to identify and select appropriate linked data authorities. Linked data services and features are an essential part of Emblematica Online that enhances discovery and research. To enable these features, the original book-level catalog data and emblem-level metadata is saved as machine-readable XML, and we use a Python script and XSLT to transform the base XML metadata to JSON-level DRDF during which process, string values and codes for names and subject headings were searched using VIEF and Library of Congress linked data APIs to enrich the metadata with entity authority URIs. In order to do a quantitative analysis to see how well these APIs work in the reconciliation process, we ran a subset of entities from the book level records and kept track of the match number every time a name term or a subject heading is queried from VIF and Library of Congress authorities respectively. The sample we had was 220 books in total. That includes 140 books for names and 80 books for subjects which is about 16% of the whole emblem corpus. Here are the results that we have breaking down by institution. As you can see, the majority of the matrix here is around 50% using the VIF Autosuggest API for name authorities, with the highest rate of 67%. You'll notice we had no data for Utrend, and thus because the Utrend sample only created one name term not previously reconciled, which is too small to be statistically meaningful. For HAB books, the string match was poor, but almost all the strings have German National Library identifier, and it's worth noting that a subsequent analysis using a different VIF API and DMB identifiers included with metadata records provided by HAB yielded a VIF match rate of around 97%. Similarly, the match rate for the subjects from this study is around 50%, with the highest rate of 82%. Now, let's take a look at some tips and challenges of the data reconciliation. First, regarding original or legacy metadata, it's important to make sure there's no metadata error and the data was ingested and formatted properly especially for non-English materials, which might involve diacritics that could potentially affect the data reconciliation process later. The challenges are, of course, there are varying levels of granularity of the legacy metadata or data from different providers that would pose challenges for processing original metadata. Secondly, during the reconciliation process, sometimes you need to discover techniques to format your metadata for example, through our experiments, we found that for some of the name strings, changing the angle brackets to square brackets can improve the match. But these techniques vary and depend on what APIs you use. And in reality, there's no real one way to find a best query. So at the end of the day, the challenge really boils down to how you finesse the query to get the most desirable results. And finally, from the perspective of using linked data authorities, Try reconciliation to multiple vocabularies. For one thing, LCSH may not have all the headings you need. In Emblematica, our algorithm points genre subjects to LCGFT, name subjects to LCNAF, and geographic subjects to MarkGAC. The use of multiple LC authority vocabularies resulted in a relatively higher match rate for subject headings during the reconciliation. 
More of a long-term question to think about, however, is that if it's feasible to have a comprehensive authority service that combines different authorities, just like VIF, which combines name authority files of major national libraries and institutions, there could be a possibility to expand the idea such as to the subject authorities to make it easier and more efficient for librarians reconciling their legacy data. For now, in light of using different LinkedIn authorities, we should also think about connecting the authorities one to another in a way that could benefit user services. For example, in Emblematica, a user can click on the blue button beside the personal name, which has links to both DMB and VIF name authorities when there is a match. And by the way, we're working on a more extensive version, which connects users to five authorities. Configuring the system to display multiple authorities can potentially benefit users with more related information, such as in a different language or name variations. Another example is, in LCSH, we found that the term Amblem Books doesn't have narrow terms such as Amblem Books Latin or Amblem Books German. But this hierarchy exists in BNF, subject authorities in French. So authorities have things they are better at, and using authorities in combination is better than over-reliance on single authorities. This study suggests that leveraging links between authority records can help enhance user services. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Greta to talk about analysis of linked data authorities. To compare the scope and coverage of different authorities, we extracted the DMB, LC, Wikidata, BNF, and Getty Name Authority links from VFJSLinks.json files, and counted the number of properties that interest to us from each entity in each authority using Python script. If we did not have the VF link in Emblematica metadata, we converted DMB authority links to VF using WordCat VF API. We found that some name entities in DMB are not available in VF. Of all 1342 unique person entities, 24 entities can only be matched to DMB. Properties of DMB and LC were gathered by parsing cultural graph and LC RDF files in JSON. Properties of Wikidata and Getty were collected by Sparkle queries. For BNF, we used BNF RDF files in JSON and JSON-LD for analysis. We noticed that only 334 entities have explicit birth date properties in LC. However, additional 373 named entities in LC include birth date in the name string. This table shows that for our corpus, DMB with the highest number of entries and unique entries might be the best source to find information about the name entity. In terms of ontology and granularity, we found that the labels of the same types of properties are different in selected authorities, and the granularity of these authorities varies. Wikidata and Getty have more granular information about relationships, while DMB is very general. In addition, BNF conflicts several otherwise distinct property values in the general purpose knows property, which is not reflected on the slides. This table also reveals that Wikidata has some unique and detailed information about a few authors, such as education and religion. Ranking by percentage of time a property appears in authority gives us the most reliable source of each property for our corpus. This table could help us efficiently extract property values from the selected authorities. For example, we found that for our corpus, all name entities appearing in Getty always have variant names. To get the variant name information for a new entity, if we know that the name has a Getty link, the chance of getting the variant name from Getty is higher than the other authorities. Overall, our research shows that the granularity and scopes of selected authorities differ and it is hard to obtain all types of information from one authority. This case study is an example of a metadata reconciliation process, aiming to establish and maintain more complete and granular links to authority information, and to discover more consistent and normalized metadata for library collections. As our next step, we will continue to optimize the algorithm of extracting values from authorities 
and investigate ways to enhance the linked open data features of Emblematica Online. To conclude, if you look at our title links all the way down and this graphics here, you might know the illusion we're using here is turtles all the way down. However, unlike the way it's used for infinite regress in philosophy or mathematics, links all the way down is demonstrable since we do have finite sources of authorities that we can use in combination to enhance user services so that the implementation of LOD can open up new avenues for research within and beyond individual collections. Thank you.